so well hi guys i'm back with another videos and uh, today i'll be talking about the uh, daily progress reports how to prepare a daily progress report or uh, so let's get into the you know formats how to prepare a format and i'll be explaining you the format which we have to prepare on a site like if you are a site engineer or a fresher engineer or project manager in an engineer whenever you go to the site we have to prepare a daily progress report and uh, need to be submitted to the you know our project manager or to the consultant or to whoever is the consultants or client we have to submit it on a daily daily basis so this is a very simple format and i think it will give you overview of how the things are going on on a site and it will give you an idea of uh, like uh, when you are preparing a bills or something so whoever is in the office they will understand that the this this these works are happening on our site so so it's a very useful for any fresher engineer or whoever is related to the site it is must to be you know so let's talk about the format so it's very simple and you can prepare like this like uh, in a like uh, we have to write a project name whatever the project name will be like construction of building or it may be residential building or whatever the name of the projects we have to write it and who is the contractor we have to write the name of the contractor and then consultant there must be the consultant so consultant name and also you can write you know on a client if you if you have any client then you can write client name and also you can write a daily progress report as in that so the date on which day you are preparing the you know dpr daily progress report so you have to mention that day actually we prepare uh, you know, dpr uh, at evening time like after 4 pm or 5 pm so you can write uh, uh, the day of that day and project completion there uh, obviously we'll have the project completion date so you can write the project completion dates and the location of the project where the this project is being you know constructed so you have to write it in the project location then uh, next things comes uh, like uh, the activities what are the activities going on a site so you can write the project name here like uh, it may be anything like, like if you have a towers like two three blocks so you can write the block uh, in which blocks you are seeing like uh, you are supervising the works so you can write the location of that pro <clears throat> that area and in this row you can write the working times uh, at what time the you know work starts at your sites and end so you can write at 30 m to or 5 30 pm so it may it may vary side to side so it may be 10 or or, or, or actually the site starts uh, and uh, in the morning it may be 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock so as per your site rules and regulation you can write the working time second things come uh, weather condition how was the day that you were preparing the report so how was the day so you can write the weather condition so maybe sunny or whatever it could be then you can write in this column now prepare one uh, you know columns and you can write to work progress or activity details you can also say that so activity description like site clear and grow growing or work and excavation swell and compaction pcc reworks so unit uh, you can write the unit measurement unit of measurement and then total quantity in a scope like uh, whatever how much uh, is the quantity in your boq for the site clear and grow so you can write it from the boq and uh, for the day for that day how much you have planned so you can write like uh, if you have uh, uh, total quantity 700 then uh, suppose you have planned for 700 but after the day like uh, you know after working whole day and in the while you're preparing the reports you achieved 500 square meter so you'll write 500 square meter then percentage so you can uh, convert into percent how much percentage of the work completed that day and you might be 
and then you will be thinking about the next day so you have to mention as the plan next day for the next day you have to continue the work so how so you have to plan for next day so like uh, if you have achieved like you, you had total quantity 700 you have achieved 500 then the remaining uh, it would be of like 700 minus 500 so 200 next step plan you have to finish or you could uh, plan 100 also or 200 also it depends upon the labor productivity or how much you want to complete in that day so in a similar way you know completive cumulative achievement so it it will uh, goes on cumulative like uh, today you have completed 500 next day it will be 200 so total will be accumulated and you'll give an, it will give an overview of how much work you have completed so far so you can also you know mention it in percentage in a similar way like we have artwork and excavations and artwork and excavation unit of measurement is cubic meter suppose total quantity we have 2000 cubic meters you plan for days suppose 500 uh, plan the achieved but uh, while preparing this report you achieved uh, suppose we achieved 350 cubic meters percentage achieved so you can use this formula 15 percent have completed percentage complete and like uh, you now plan for the next day how much you want to do the next day you might have increased the manpower you will have a, or you will have a you know uh, reduction in manpower so you can uh, uh, plan for the next day. Suppose I am planning for 600 for next day. Cumulative achieve. Cumulative achieve would be today for the today. How much you have planned? 350. And percentage complete. So this is for the daily provisor suppose two days is you know eleven September twenty twenty three. So it's of eleven September. in a similar way you can do for all the remaining works and the next things comes manpower. The number of manpower was available on your site to execute the above works. So resources what but all resources you have to complete the works. So you can add mission, labor, helper, supervisor, electrician, whoever is on the sites. It could be project manager, engineer. So you can write the number. So suppose you have one, two, three, whatever you have. So it will give you the idea like uh, this must mean what required to complete this. This must works. And also the equipments equipments what all require equipments you have on your side so you can write vibrator so well generator you can write you know tractor or any instrument which you are using to execute the work so you have to write the next things you have to also you know mention that materials available on your sites and uh, in your stock so like you have your bricks Unit numbers and you received till previous day like you have in the stock 5000 but used on those is 2500 so remaining stock is 2500 similarly if you can write you know cement suppose you have cement and the units is bags and you have uh, so you received 500 bags and uh, and you had uh, you know concrete casting and you have uh, a consumption of uh, consumption of uh, cements you could write consumption also or used on there like uh, consumption so you consumed uh, like suppose you in, uh, did the casting of you know slab you consumed 200 so remaining available would be 500 minus 200 so this will give you the idea how much stock you have available and it will 
give you the idea to plan for the next day because if you if you required you know more than 300 then you can you know and you write a requisition form you demand the materials supply uh, materials from your uh, you know main stock so you can you know send a requisition to send the materials on the sites the next thing comes visitor names you know like uh, on the sites you know you might have seen that you know visitors might be coming on your site it could be your you know contractor personnel or it could be your government officer it could be a consultant uh, you know higher authorities so it keeps on coming so it will uh, be a better idea you know, and who comes on that day you know? and so it will give you the overview and they, they might come for the site visit so they will give you the compliment or comments they will comment on your works uh, who all have visited your sites you know on, on that day so if you at the you know uh, after one month if you want to know who all was available on the sites who all visited any guest any visitor who visited our site for the visiting purpose so that you can write his name visitor names and you, know, you can write it like a name something like sv rathor and uh, it could be post team leader and what he commented anything about your works uh, anything in your lagging or anything it will be good or bad things uh, like a, like a, you know correct the uh, you know, like beam position or it could be anything like uh, you know so whatever it may be the view of your visitors it would add good or bad and its signature if you take it it will be better if you not okay not required then the most important things i think uh, we have to also mention and uh, you know uh, daily progress report that is issue on the side because it keeps on coming and it will you know and create problem on the side so whatever because you started your work and you got into some problem some issues came up like there may be some issues like site access so the date arrives will be the same date and effects on is a uh, effects of issue on project what uh, like if you are not access to the site or access to the, any project location where you have to you know uh, you know create a you know leave a card room or anything but you are not access to that site uh, there may be the problem there may be the disputes of land acquisition so you can add those date arise date and effects on it may cause you know project delay so a status a status of the project like it is on going and there may be the someone or social mobilizer waiver a consultant is responsible to solve this problem or you know government authority solves the problem or local user so you can write that you know consultant or whoever responsible for the you know responsible person to solve the problem so you can mention his or her name so it will give you a better idea like uh, and whenever you are after one month or two months when you see uh, see your daily progress report of the particular job then you're gonna find out that oh okay, okay okay this problem was going on and this problem is solved or no so you can you can also you know accumulate all those things in a next step plan and you can check on that whether this problem has been solved or not so this is the i think i used to prepare on the sites and and um, this is the overview and you can also you know manipulate uh, as per your requirement on the sites and you can do the editing things so this is how we prepare a, a daily progress report on site and it will give you very good idea like uh, while preparing a bill uh, you can understand that okay we have this much quantity and uh, we have uh, we have completed so far this much so you can you know include in your bill while preparing bill or ipc so that's all for today and i hope you liked my videos and uh, if you liked and you found uh, useful for your uh, you know work then please do like share and subscribe because you know i'm trying to put whatever i know and uh, whatever the knowledge i have i'm trying to put it together and uh, that's all thank you very much